Yes. Yes. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means it is vlog day. And like I always say, I'm going to try to keep this vlog a little bit shorter. I don't have any reviews to do, but we do have plenty of stuff to talk about, including but not limited to beer. Oh, what? Pliny the Elder. Uh, we also have some first impressions to do of some mods. Uh, one of them that I got at VaporCon West. And uh, there's some other stuff to do. There's some shout outs. And of course, there's some music, which we all love music. And that's what I want to talk about is music. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and center my, micro my camera just a little bit. Always double check your microphone. I shot like two minutes of this vlog and then I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to start over. I'm going to check my mic and now it, uh, now it's working, which is fantastic. And I'm all alone now in my vape lair. Uh, it wasn't too long ago that I had all of my friends, like I said in the Mr. Can video. I was so lonely shooting in here by myself. Um, you know, Ruby Roo and her husband and Matt and Vanessa and Flitzanu, uh, they're just people that I love. And I mean, Flitzanu has been one of my nearest and dearest friends for a while now. He was in my wedding. I mean, he was a groomsman in my wedding. And I, I just love these people. And they're kind of the people that you wish just lived closer to you so you could hang out way, way more. Um, and, and the sad fact is that they don't. They, they live far away and they're all gone and they left me here alone. And now my vape layer just feels empty but uh but no matter what are you gonna do you press on like i said you press on you shoot more videos um let me get out my vlog notes uh like i said we do have some stuff to talk about um had a wonderful time at VaporCon. if you uh if you attended then you know how wonderful of a time it was i had a fantastic time i just did it was it was a great meet um the feedback that i got from the vendors was that it was really fun um it wasn't uh, huge. I mean, it wasn't a trade show. You know what I mean? The vibe that I got from VaporCon is the vibe that I kind of put out as far as my videos. It was very mellow, very cool, very hangout, very like interact with the vendors, try juices. There was some giveaways going on. There was, you know, mods being sold and, and everybody was hanging out and having a really, really good time. And, you know, I just want to thank uh, the volunteers that all helped me out uh, during that time. Oh my gosh, I'm going to forget her name. What was her name? I am such a terrible person. I'm going to have to go to Facebook and go to the VaporCon group to try to remember her name. Uh, my buddy Andrew uh, from, uh, from work, he helped me out. Him and his lady friend, they helped me out uh, immensely. Of course, Vaping Scruff helped me organize the whole thing. What was her name? I can't remember her name. Also, Sven. Who's uh, who's has three different names, but I call him Sven, and he knows who Sven is, and he just did a great job. He helped me out uh, so much. Um, also, Misha was there taking pictures. If you haven't checked out his photo galleries, I'll link to them in the description to this video. Uh, his VaporCon West stuff is uh, is great. It really captured well uh, the whole spirit and vibe of the uh, of the event. What was your name? She even brought me uh, a donut one day. I'm, I'm really bad with names, and it's nothing personal. I just can't remember names. I'm a terrible person. I am, I am a terrible person. I cannot... Cynthia! Cynthia, Cynthia. Yes, my first volunteer, the first person to message me on Facebook. She said, hey, how can I help out? I said, I love you. Just come help out. Um, additionally... Chad and Nina um, and Shelly and her husband, everybody from Nevada Vapor Supply came to help out. And uh, again, it was just great. There's a billion people I could thank. And if you were there, you know the magic that happened. And it was uh, it was really fun. And of course, we had the after party here. Hope to do it again next year. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, I've already started spitballing, like planning ideas in my head of how it's going to be a cooler event next year. There was no drama i mean not even like vendor to vendor vapor to vendor no drama with the hotel the pepper mill was wonderful they were excited to have us there we were i mean mostly allowed to vape uh, most anywhere um in the casino it's in it's nevada so you can smoke almost anywhere in nevada with the exception of restaurants and that's kind of how it was at uh at VaporCon. they put up little signs that said hey the pepper mill treats smoking like vaping or vaping like smoking but with that said you can vape almost anywhere you want all the casino floors all the bars all the lounges um it was fantastic and i'm gonna get rambling here um 
I want to give a quick shout out to uh, are these the right vlog notes? I don't know if these are the right vlog notes. I might I might have the wrong vlog notes up. Yeah. Oh man, next week looks busy too. Uh, yes, <laughs> moving forward, I want to give a quick shout out to Nate. Uh, he made a couple memes uh, of the if you watched my E L V T the Ulvit video. Um, it was a little bit ridiculous, and I shined the light in my face, and I was like, hey. and so he made a couple, like, one or two pictures, and they were pretty funny, and uh, I just want to give a shout out to Nate. He's very interactive on the Facebooks and on the YouTubes, and uh, all around good guy. I want to give a shout out to uh, Vegas Daniel. I, in my notes, it just says Vegas Daniel. Um, he has a birthday coming up, birthday on the 22nd. Happy birthday to you sir and uh i would also like to say that i'm not um against doing shout outs i love doing shout outs i love doing shout outs for for good people in the community you know what i mean um the amount of shout out requests is overwhelming i mean i could do a video of nothing but shout outs and it still wouldn't even cover all the shout out requests i get so if i can i will absolutely try to work one in for you but uh might not always work out with that said, uh, I have a very long, long message. Uh, this comes from a fellow named Aaron. He says, uh, long time Grim Green fan here. I've been enjoying your videos for years. Thanks for always sharing your opinions and experiences with us. That's what I do. That's how I roll. Definitely cuts out a lot of the guesswork out of buying things online, new products, juices, etc. Big ups to you, my friend. No, big ups to you, Aaron. Um, he goes on to say he's deeply involved in uh, his local vaping community. Anyway, um, he says him and, uh, okay, I'm just going to read the whole thing. I'm not going to try to paraphrase it. Uh, I'm deeply involved in the vaping community myself as an ex-smoker who moved predictably from Sigalites to Egos to Mods and Rebuildables over the last three years. I'm a musician based in New York City. I recently, uh, and recently, many of my friends and colleagues have been switching to vaping and finding great satisfaction in the relief from smoke and to the hobbyist rituals associated. Earlier this year, we came together to create a compilation of songs and music, uh, a, a compilation of songs by music producers who vape. Sort of a sort of for us, by us sentiment. Where each, we, where we, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry where we each responded to the prompt music to vape to. If you can, please check out the compilation here. This compilation is special because it exemplifies the huge variety and types of people and aesthetics found in the vaping world. Genres such as house, experimental, noise, techno, K-rap, jazz, Ugh. as diverse as meeting a new friends at the local vape shop. You may not personally like every flavor of music, but the vibrancy and variety to me is really exciting. Uh, the compilation was released by Rhizome, a New York-based media arts program. Um, anyway, uh, I know it's not metal, but I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, I will put a link in the description to this compilation. Now, I'm not going to lie. I listened to a lot of this compilation, and he is absolutely right. It is not... Uh, it is not my particular cup of tea, but like he also says, there's a huge variety of people here in the vape world that... Uh, that all enjoy different things. Some of us enjoy beer and metal, like me. Some of us enjoy not drinking and not metal, and that's other people, and that's fine. And it's kind of this weird uh, compilation of electronica music. Let's get to a, uh, a part where it sounds like music. It just kind of sounds like sound effects right now. Let's jump to here. Something? Something could be happening. Yentek. Ohm Boys. Milk. Loric. Uh, Rhizome. ADR. Soft Circle. Oh, see, these are all different tracks. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... I wanna find... Oh, Milk's song Vapin is on here. So there you go. Yentek. Come on, Yen Tech, impress me. All 
All right. So there you go. That's a thing. Uh, I'll post a link in the description to this compilation if you wish to check it out. But thank you, Aaron, so much for sending that my way. Uh, that is a long email. I'm just going to uh, delete this out, right? Uh, you know what? I better wait until because if I have to reshoot this, then I'm just going to I'm just going to leave it there. Um, but what I have right now, um, I want to do this before it gets too warm. Is uh, there's a there's an Instagram I started following because they post pictures of beer. And I'm a beer guy, so I like beers. It's at uh, Shaver Shaver Beer Shaver Brew Reviews. Um, he's got a Facebook and an Instagram. I'll post a link to both in the description to this video. But he sent me this note that says, uh, Yo Grim, I hope this brew makes it to you in good condition and swiftly. I appreciate all you do for the vape community, and I've watched your videos for two years now, and that's what's inspired me to work in this industry. My wife Erica and I hope you enjoy this beer, and let us know if you want this or others in the future. Uh, sincerely, Christopher and Erica Shaver, Shaver, Shaver Brew Reviews. But what they sent me, um, and like I said, I'll post a link to their Instagram and Facebook in the description if you wish to follow them on Instagram. He's always posting pictures of just beer, just craft beer, and uh, it's fantastic. I mean, it's it's just, if you're a beer guy, then you like looking at pictures of beer. Um, he sent me some Pliny the Elder, which uh, I've been I've been trying to get some of this beer for uh, well seems like forever. Uh, it's from Russian uh, Russian River Brewing. If you look on Beer Advocate, which is kind of like my go to, you know what I mean. Some people go to this place for vape reviews. I go to Beer Advocate to look at beer. Um, this is the only beer I've seen. Maybe not. Maybe it's the only beer I've seen. It has a double 100 score. It has a world-class 100% score from Beer Advocate and a 100% world-class score from the group of people that have rated it, um, which is pretty fantastic. Um, it has an av it says availability rotating, which means you'll never get this beer. Um, it's readily available to some people, you know, like uh, like Mr. Shaver here, Shaver. Can I pronounce your name correctly? Shaver, Mr. Shaver. Um, he was able to get a bottle of Pliny the Elder. Um, I also emailed back and forth with another gentleman who was also going to send me a bottle of Pliny the Elder and I couldn't, I mean, I'm so insanely, insanely grateful that people wish to send me beer. Beer is one of those things that people can connect on. They're like, I've had that. Have you had this? You need to have this. People get really excited about it. Um, Chris, oh no, nope, someone else, I, I can't, I can't, I can't find his name, maybe it's Chris, oh no, it's not Chris, someone else is going to send me Pliny, I'm so, so, so sorry, I can't find your email right now, there's a lot of emails in here, um, I got some heady Topper, that I tried this time, uh, this weekend for the very, very first time. Um, and that came from uh, this fella, fella Skywalker. <laughs> uh, he sent me some, some four pack of Hetty and it was, uh, it was quite delicious. I'm not an IPA guy, I don't like IPAs, but Pliny the Elder is the highest rate, not only just the highest rated IPA, it's the highest rated beer like on freaking earth. So, don't really know what kind of uh, bottle this goes into, so I grabbed my trusty Samuel Smith pint glass, and we're gonna open this. Uh... <sighs> Maybe, geez, Pliny, you make that harder to open. Um, I'm gonna pour like Ruby Roo. You gotta drink through the head like a man, right? That's what she said. I believe those were her exact words. You gotta drink through the head like a man. So I'm just gonna. Just gonna pour the very, very light beer. Look at that. Look at that head, Ruby. <laughs> that's too much head, Ruby Roo. That is that's too much. That's too much head. It actually looks pretty nice. Uh very light, uh, clear, just uh, refreshing, delicious looking beer. Um I'm not gonna stick my finger in that. I'm gonna let that head settle down a little bit. But yeah, Russian River Brewing. Um 
Shaver, Shaver, Shaver beer reviews, Shaver brew reviews. Man, you have a hard name to pronounce. Shaver brew reviews. Um, Pliny the Elder, this is my first experience with Pliny. Uh, this is a wet hopped IPA, which if you ask me what that means, that I, I, I don't know. I just know that I much prefer wet hopped IPAs to uh, traditional dry hop IPAs. I try to avoid that super, super hop flavor, but uh, I guess I'm just gonna drink through this foam, drink through this head like a man. Otherwise, uh, Ruby Rue will yell at me. It smells wonderful. It smells like a, a damn pine tree. That's quite delicious. I mean, uh, for an IPA, that's, that's probably one of the best IPAs I've ever had. Holy crap. That's really delicious. That is really delicious. Um, I really liked the Hetty Topper when I had it. Hetty Topper, at the time of my consuming it, was the number one beer um, in the in the world. I mean, in the top 250 beers. Hetty Topper, yeah, still number one. Um, Pliny the Elder is down here at number four. I've officially had two beers in the top ten uh, all-time best beers. But even Hetty Topper only has a 197, and Plenty the Elder is a 100, 100 straight across the board. Thank you so much. Uh, Brew Reviews, uh, Shava. God, what is wrong with me? Shaver. Shaver. Why can't I remember that? I am... Christopher, I am sorry. Christopher Shaver, I need to apologize because I can't seem to get your name right. I want to enjoy some Pliny the Elder. Mm. It's nice and refreshing. It smells really, really clean. It smells like pine trees. I mean, when I smell it, it's got that strong, hoppy pine tree flavor. It's nice. I mean, it's really nice. It's not like a traditional bitter IPA. It has a strong hoppy flavor, but it's not bitter. It's a really good drinking beer, man. Pliny. Pliny, dude. Pliny. I'm going to move this over here. Um, and what we're going to do now is a couple first impressions. <clears throat> Even then, I just triple checked my microphone to make sure everything's working correctly. Mod Zombie handed me this mod. This is a 26650. Uh, mod and they first handed it to me at VaporCon and I'm just like I was amazed like just quite literally amazed at how light it was it's made of uh, aluminum I'm not sure of the grade or if it's aircraft aluminum or anything like that but it's insanely light the heaviest part of this mod is the button the tube itself is I mean this thing is weightless Weightless. I mean, obviously not literally weightless, but the heaviest part of this is the is the button, is the switch. Um, I've been using this. Uh, I started using it at VaporCon West. I brought it home. I was using it with everybody here, dropping shit. Um, I used it when we were having our little pool party. Um, it's kind of if you're if you're used to Max, then you kind of know what to expect. Like adjustable center pin how you adjust for battery rattle this that and the other it has an adjustable center pin in the middle and when you plug on an atomizer this is the as modus or as modus fits on there just perfectly you adjust this up touches the pin on the bottom you screw this back down and you adjust for battery rattle kind of like the nemesis with the switch so you just keep screwing. It's like a slightly telescoping. Oh, now it's all snugged up. If I unlock it, it's going to fire. What I would really like to see in this mod, and uh, just a heads up, Cardamator Crush does not, 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 not pair well with Pliny the Elder. Um, I'm just going to say that. As much as I love this flavor, uh, don't vape Cardamator Crush and drink beer because it's... It's just an abomination of flavors all around. Um, but no matter, I've um, been using this this atomizer a lot. I have two of them, and I've been using them like crazy on both of my 26650 mods on the 
uh, ambassador from Emit Vapor, which I just cleaned up today, and it looks beautiful. And additionally, on this, on the Cannibal, and the Cannibal feels big. Um, one thing, it's kind of like the Hades in that the spring in there is strong. It's a strong spring. You kind of have to earn it. It's not crunchy like the Hades was, but it's still quite a quite a strong spring in there. Uh, like I said, I like it. I've enjoyed using it. Obviously, I'll report back later via YouTube video on, on how it works out for me. Um, one thing that the machinist was showing me about this mod is the way that it vents. And it's pretty interesting the way that it vents. And I may have said this in the, the super vlog or the best vlog you'll ever watch, the Suck My Green Ruby Jam. And it vents out the top cap away from you. So there's holes. Let me see if this is actually going to show up on camera. There's holes. Do you see lay holes in the top going all around the top? Well, those go up and out this very bottom level of the heat sink. So it goes up. Each one of those holes lines up with this vent. So it goes up and out. So in the event that you are somehow careless enough to have a catastrophic battery failure, which you, you shouldn't be even... That shouldn't be an issue anyway. You shouldn't be even thinking about a catastrophic battery failure. But if some for some reason that happens, if your battery shorts out or if your atomizer shorts your battery or if your switch gets stuck, always lock your mods, then it's going to vent up and it's going to vent out away from you, uh, which I think is uh, a pretty cool nifty little safety feature. Um, the locking feature on this alone is amazing. Um, CJ was selling some mod. Vapor Venue was selling some mod at VaporCon West, and both um, Jessica and John from 5280 got one. And John's like, you got to try this locking switch. And so I grabbed it, and I'm like, okay, it looks like a locking switch. And I twisted it, and it was like, ah, oh, click, click, locked, clicked, unlock. You didn't even need to, it just goes by itself. You just go whomp, whomp. And this, I was so, so excited to see that this had a similar sort of like you can't even appreciate it it's just like ball bearings in there it could be magnets i'm not really sure i haven't really dug into the switch yet but it feels like ball bearings like it's just boom and now it's locked and boom and now it's unlocked um blows me away every time i use it that said the switch is uh the switch is a little bit strong i do have another mech to talk about let me wrap this one up okay Pardon me, in case anybody's wondering, anybody's wondering, that tip comes from Beyond Vape. That comes from uh, Aria, Aria, Aria. Um, yeah, it has their little A logo on there, which you can't see. But uh, fancy, fancy, fun little drip tip. The other mod I have to talk about literally just came in. I don't know if Beyond Vape's going to get mad at me for talking about this. In fact, there's something else from Beyond Vape I want to talk about. Uh, what juice? Strawberry Circus? Sure. Now, Beyond Vape is really like just knocking it out of the park with these mech mods. Um, this is the Beacon, okay? And I have it topped with a black tugboat from Craving Vapor and the tugboat cap from my original tugboat. And to me, holy crap, that just looks cool. So this is a telescoping mod. The way they presented it to me was that it's kind of like a replacement for the K100 or the K101. It's very lightweight. It's very easy to use. You don't really have to do too much adjusting because it's a telescoping mod. Like it just, you twist and it snugs all up. It's got that same locking ring that that's kind of like on the Neptune. If you've used it, you know that it's great to use. The funniest thing about it, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do some zooming in on this because it, <laughs> It cracks me up every time. Let's see if we can see this beacon logo. Can you see the beacon logo? You see that right there? It's a lighthouse. But if you turn it upside down, it looks like a guy's face. It looks like the spawn logo with hair. Yeah, look at that. Check that out. It's, uh, I can't unsee it. Once you see something like that, you can't unsee it. Uh, it's an 18650 mod. 
It's uh, insanely lightweight, and it's it comes in black and silver and gray and silver. And I got out the black one first, and I started using it. And I thought, man, my tugboat, my black tugboat, is going to look awesome on there. And uh, you know, so far it's been hitting well. I like that it's really, really lightweight. I actually like this more than the Sage mod that they sent me. And I know a lot of people have been raving about the Sage mod, like, oh, it's such a great mech mod. It's very cheap, and it is. It is a great mech mod. It is very cheap. But if I had to choose between the Sage or the Beacon, ugh, I would go down the Beacon Road. Uh, I would go down the Beacon Road every time. Hits nice, hits well. It's got a nice little springy button on there. Um, I have some specs for it, I believe, that came from Beyond Vape. Um, it's priced competitively at $65. Better performance and design than similar telescoping mods. Uh, threading has a tight tolerance. Uh, aircraft grade T6 aluminum. I want to see what the what the contacts. Silver silver plated over brass contacts and the k100 uses stainless steel contacts so this is silver plated brass contacts it's going to be more conductive than the k100 or the k101 um plus you're buying a you know a mod that's exclusive to an american company and uh he was explaining that some of these get CNC'd in, in China and some of them get CNC'd here in the States. Um, and there's no difference between the two. Um, the reason some of them are CNC'd in China is to keep the cost down so that you can buy this for $65. And alternatively, this Vigilante Skull and Crossbones pairs very well with this Pliny. And I don't know what it is, they just pair well together. The creaminess kind of cuts through the hoppiness of this. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's really good. Wow, that's really good. Um, as far as I know, Beyond Vape doesn't have this mod on their site yet. Um, I'll update the description to include an, uh, to include a link when they get it, but as it stands, I don't believe it's on their site yet. But one last thing, one last first impression from Beyond Vape before we get to music. Mm. Oh, Pliny, I love you. Um, yes, one last first impression from Beyond Vape. Let me take a toot on this. I watched uh, Matt uh, Suck My Mods uh, review of the Veritas atomizer, and I had one, and I wasn't super stoked on it, and I've been using it on and off, and then he kind of inspired me to rebuild it today after watching his video. So I watched his video, and I rebuilt it, and I posted a picture on Instagram. I said, I am using my Veritas, and I am loving it. He's absolutely right. It's very much a flavor chaser, <clears throat> pardon me, burp life mod, and uh, or atomizer, and it's been great. But I have one more thing to talk about from Beyond Babe. Fantastic. So look at this. What does this look like? To me, that looks like a Neptune with a tobe on top. What? Neptune with a tobe on top? Yeah, so Beyond Vape has started selling these uh, adapters for your Neptune to make it just a 510 connection. You just screw it on in place of that hybrid atomizer and it's got the same adjustment dealy pins and you just screw it on and it turns your Neptune into just a 510 mech mod with the same, you know, silver plated brass contacts with the same switch with the same stylings and dang dude, I think that looks awesome with the tobe on there. Um, let me drip in here and it's great because, you know, a, a lot of uh, devices and mods and nonsense just come across my table and it's come to the point where I have to turn people away which breaks my heart um there was a guy and he just posted it on reddit he offered me up a ranger okr 10 device and at my first instinct was like fuck yes yeah, send that to me and then i'm looking around at my desk and i'm like i have the hexome i have the duke i'm gonna have 
the Ohm Wrecker soon. I'm going to have a Raptor mod soon. Ah, I can't, I can't take this from you. Like, I just can't do it. I don't have the room. I don't have the, you know what I mean? It would just be another OKR10 video. And it looks like an amazing mod. And it's all clean and nice on the inside. And it's rad. And I had to say no. So he's going to give that away on Reddit. I just saw the thread. Such a good guy. Such a nice mod. But I just, like, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Um, and so things get to me and after they get put on video I may or may not use them for a time after that and sometimes they'll get given away sometimes they end up on my mod shelf like right now I'm looking at the lunar uh, the VTR the opus D the sentinel the cool fire they just sit up there and when someone says hey do you have that you know the lunar mech mod do you still have that did you want to give it away I might be like yeah cool I still have that I'll give it away this Neptune was sitting on said mod shelf. I gave a Neptune to my buddy Mark, and he's been really enjoying it. And I kept the black Neptune because I liked it so much. And it was just sitting on my shelf, still built. And so they sent me this 510, you know, adapter, and I'm like, I'm going to use my Neptune again. And I just got it off the shelf. I plugged the tobe on there. It looks wicked cool, and uh, it vapes wicked good. It's just been uh, it's just been really good, and it feels nice to use my Neptune again. And it reminds me why I liked this so much. I like the feel of it. I like the weight of it. I like the finish. I like the button. If you have a Neptune and you want to pick up one of these 510 adapters, I would highly, highly recommend it, especially if you have a rebuildable atomizer that you want to use on it. Like if you look and you're like, gosh, I really wish I could use my tugboat on my Neptune mod. Or gosh, I really wish I could use my tobe on my Neptune mod. Now that's a possibility. I don't know how much these are going to cost. I think he included the price. Uh, Neptune 510 cap, 25 bucks. Makes your Neptune hybrid into a traditional mech with a 510 connection. There you go. 25 bucks, and you can turn your Neptune, which is already um, basically an inexpensive mod to begin with, into a sweet you know, color of your choice. They come in green and black and it's ridiculous. And I hate to sound like a Beyond Vape fanboy, but they are doing rad, rad things. I mean, that's a genius idea to me to make a hybrid dripper, sell it as a hybrid dripper, and then just turn around and release a little $20 510 connection and go, oh, now your hybrid dripper, yeah, that can totally be a mech mod and you can rock your tobe on it. I think that's uh, really smart. I think they're doing good things, and I I, I was I was stoked to have them at uh, to have them at VaporCon West. Damn, that's a good vape. I may just keep this tobe. I may not. Uh, I may just buy it off the guy off of CornFed. He sent it to me um, just to do a review, and he said, "Hey, I'm selling it. If you're interested, I might uh, I might buy it from him." Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Jam attack. I thought you were busy reading your book, oh, Jim. Gypsy. It's okay. There can be a gypsy attack, too. Gypsy attack. Jam what are you, attack. What are you doing, Jam? Chilling. Chilling? Do you know how good this beer is? I know you told me about it. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Look how it beautiful. It looks the exact same as every other beer. It doesn't look the exact same as every other beer. Jam doesn't know her beers. She's not a beer person. I've never had beer in my life. Get out of here, beer person. We don't need non-beer people here. You're not. Yeah, I promise you're not in the video. You would not like. You don't like beer anyway. No. So you would. You would definitely not like this. Did I tell you about this 510 connection I got? It turns the Neptune into a mech mod. Cool. Hold it. Try it. It's Strawberry Circus. You You're would like it. You're tricking me into first impressions. It's not. I already I already did that. It's not even a first impressions. I'm not even going to redo a review for a top What's cap. There's a scratch thing on it. Oh, that's a seam. Yeah, that's a seam. Okay. It's pretty nifty little. It turn, it's a pretty nifty little mech mod, isn't it? Is this a tugboat? No, that's the tobe. What Give it a it? hit. You'd like it. Do some of your lung hits, Jim. Show us some clouds, dude. Clouds. I hate that. Clouds, bro. Clouds. I picked that up from Mark. Because clouds is a stupid thing to say. Clouds, bro. Cloud chasing. Cloud chasing, bro. Just chasing clouds. That was weak. That was weak sauce, Jim. I'm all the way over here. 
Lean forward. Lean forward and blow some clouds. We're having a cloud competition right now in the vape layer. One, two, me, three. Me four, versus Jam. Four, you have two, the uh, three, the Neptune with a tow. I have a tugboat two, three, on the beacon. You're using Namber Juice. I'm using Vigilante. <coughs> weak. Weak Most sticks. I can't do that. I don't know why I might want to do that. Right, Chicken? I won. I won the cloud competition. You're Grim Green. I won the first ever Grim Green office cloud competition. Or the second ever, I guess. I think Matt won the original cloud competition. Did you like having everybody here hanging out? I miss them, Doug. I know. I miss them bad. I told, Too I told, sad. Uh, I told Matt on his video, I was like, I miss you hard. Like, I miss those guys. I, I, I was I was saying... That I, I, it's, you know, they're the kind of people that you wish just lived closer to we you. We need to build a compound. We need to build a compound. Amber and I are going to build the first ever vaping compound. It's going to be like, a, a, we're just going to buy a warehouse. And here everybody, in City, here Nevada. in Carson City, Nevada, and everybody's welcome to come live in the vaping compound. You can. Um, no, not everybody. Just well, the people. It's invitation only. It's Sorry. invite only. Sorry. Apparently it's invite only. So nobody's allowed. So Matt and Vanessa are allowed. Russ and Ashley. Russ and Ashley are allowed. Ruby and Josh. Ruby and Josh are allowed. Violet and Lou. Of course Violet and Lou are allowed. What about Scruff and O? Flitz. Flitz. Scruff and O have to stay in Reno. <laughs> they have a baby. Oh, uh, that's true. They do have a baby. But they, everybody else has kids. Matt and Vanessa have kids. Their kids are older. Their kids are older. Wow. Strict rules here at the vaping compound. I didn't realize it was going to be so dictatorial yeah, shit. that's pretty much it for the vaping compound. That's just about all, I think. It'd be cool. And we will have a um, swimming pool held up by boards. We will have a swimming pool um, held up by boards. We have a Not swimming pool long. in the backyard. Um, the contractors are going to fix it, but <laughs> while everybody was here, um, it was a big group effort um, between lifting up the swimming pool and then Ruby and Vanessa were like sliding boards underneath it to make it level. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gangster, y'all. It was fun times. We um, have the most white trash backyard right now. Luckily, it's um, great. I'm going out in that pool at, right after this. Really? Yeah. Um, the first week of August, though, they start construction in the backyard and in the kitchen, and everything will be right with the world. Did you tell them about our new side yard? No, I didn't tell them about the Follow rocks. Follow me on Instagram mm -hmm. at a Green Johnson. If you want to see about our, our home construction, you can follow Amber. We did uh, we redid the side yard. It was an it was a barren landscape. It was, it was like embarrassing. a it was like a reptile habitat. It looked like the desert. It looked like the desert. It was just disgusting with weeds and stuff. And now there's beautiful patio, beautiful gravel, um, and uh, they covered up our all our pipes with with fake rocks. <laughs> yeah, and they um, gave us a spigot and some, a spigot <laughs> and some electrical outlets out there. And y'all, my contractor came in earlier today and he was like yeah you had a nest of baby pigeons we just killed them and then they yes our, the our uh, yeah our our contractor heartlessly killed pigeon eggs were no, they eggs or they babies were baby pigeons i don't think they were baby pigeons no they were baby he pigeons. didn't look like the kind of guy that would kill baby pigeons yeah there's feathers all over the yard i can bring you some well our contractor apparently is a pigeon murderer he just broke their neck they're a nuisance head. animal though they're a feathered rat they're you don't go around breaking baby pigeon necks. Breaking baby pigeon necks. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's going to eat them. And then, you know what's even sadder? The mom pigeon came back looking today, but they put, like, siding that matched our house siding up there and, like, blocked off where they were building their nests in our roof. Yeah. And the mom pigeon was, like, trying to fly back in there, and she can't get in, and she probably thinks her babies are still in there, but their necks are and they're in the trash. <laughs> Jam, that's horrible. Isn't that so sad? Nature is uh, cruel and unusual. But now we don't have to deal with pigeons. Yeah, but they shouldn't have had to die. Well, we could we should have relocated them instead. We next time have. next time we'll relocate the pigeons instead of just kicking well, them off our property. I wish he would have asked me before he did that. He just came in and he was like, I took care of your pigeon problem. Well, you told him, take care of the pigeon problem. <laughs> like I the, didn't mean go around breaking pigeon necks. Those were your exact words, I believe. We had a pigeon problem. We had a pigeon problem. I don't think we're going to have one anymore. Well, I'm about to talk about music, Jam. No, just let, let's hang out for a minute. 
Yeah. This vlog is already, already way too, too long. long. <laughs> she knows me too well. Um, chicken went into the side yard for the first time in her life. Yep, she peed on the rocks. She's so excited. Yeah. If you don't know who Chicken is, that's our dog Gypsy. Uh, Amber has renamed her Chicken. She's always been Chicken. This She's Pliny sure. the Elder is amazing. Yeah. I am loving it more as I drink it. Is that beer? Mm-hmm. Is that the one you got in the mail today? Yep. Did you tell him about the that came from uh, Christopher Christopher Shaver and his wife. They sent that to me. Why don't you tell him about the grocery store? I forgot my wallet at the grocery store. That's not something that everybody needs to know about. That's not interesting. We're here to talk about vaping, beer, and music. That's the tagline: GrimGreen.com, vaping, beer, and music. And jam attacks. And jam attacks. And gypsy attacks. And Josh attacks. And Ruby attacks. And Matt attacks. And Vanessa attacks. I have looked. I have a public statement. And Vanessa going, hi. I have a statement. Hi. What? This is for all y'all meanies out there. Meanies? The meanies. Who are the meanies, Jam? Listen, y'all. I know what my voice sounds like. I know that it's annoying. I know that I'm an obnoxious person. I don't need y'all writing comments about it. Because <laughs> I already know. And you know what? I love me. And you know what? Matt don't need you talking crap about him. Vanessa don't need you talking crap about her. Ruby don't need you talking crap about her. None of us need it. So y'all just need to keep your meanie comments to yourself. And if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it all. It's common sense. Thank you, Jam. I hope you've learned a lesson, meanies. Meanies. <laughs> I have thick skin. I don't care. People call me a fucking idiot all the time. Yeah, but you know what? It's uncalled for because you're not an idiot. I get, you're a really nice person. See, I get more mad when I see someone saying something mean about you or saying something mean about Ruby I or saying something that. mean about someone else. I don't care. People say, oh, you built that coil wrong. It's... Five wraps on one side and six on the other. Uh, how could you be so stupid? And I go, all right. I, don't, I mean, I don't care. That matters zero to me. But when someone's like, God, your wife's annoying. I'm just like, oh, well, you're banned now. <laughs> I just banned you from my channel. I don't I don't like to put up with that. I'm very defensive of the people I care about. Me too. And I care about me. And y'all need to put me <laughs> Okay. I mean, it's just really hateful. Sometimes people are just so rude. Well... We got uh, we got some keyboard commandos here who like to get behind their keyboard and uh, say mean things. That's just mean. Did a new video. Y'all need to quit being mean to him. Well, I've never said anything mean to him. No, but you encourage making. I've fun never of him. encouraged making fun of him. I'm convinced he is a genius. His latest his latest video is him reading comments. You you know what you can tell by looking at him something ain't right. If no, he's he's up. a normal guy. I'm convinced it's an act. Normal I'm convinced guys he's don't a genius. Have teeth like that. He I, I I have bad teeth. No. Doug, yes, I do. Not. Have you seen my Something's teeth? They're crooked. Not. Look, crooked, crooked teeth. I'm a normal guy. Y'all need to quit making fun of him. No he's one. We're not making fun of him. A hard time. And it's funny because someone wrote him this really long paragraph, and his response was so well crafted and so perfect he's like he's like wow you can tell that that guy's really smart because of all the words he wrote <laughs> like he can give it just as good as he can take it i'm convinced he's a genius i'm convinced he's a vapor and i i think he just wants to be part of the community and that's his way of making a splash in the community well i don't like to see y'all making fun of him he does smoke a lot of weed not that there's anything wrong with that that's fine. Because I we're don't... basically a drug cartel. No, don't say that. Sorry. Duh. Edit, edit. <laughs> edit, edit. Duh. I just don't like, I just don't like y'all picking on him. And sometimes I feel like you guys pick on him. Even, even if he's picking on you, it's not nice. You're right. It's not nice. Okay, Jim. Apologize Jan. to him. I'm sorry, Das just mean. I want to be your friend. I like your t-shirt with the elephant on it. <laughs> And I want to be your friend. I do too, and I'm always going to There's no hate war. He said, Grim Green started a hate war. I didn't start, there was nothing, I didn't start anything. You kind of did. Well, he started it. I'm on his side. I feel like I'm a little kid talking to my parents. Like, Brian did it first. He started it. He made a video that said, why Grim Green is wrong. 
And then he called Rip Tippers. He said he Rip, Rip Tippers. Tippers. Yeah, he said Rip Tippers. Okay. He said Rip Tippers is going to die of cancer and that his kids are going to die of cancer. Like, that's a little bit mean. But. So maybe you know he what? deserves some of it. What's the what's one of the golden rules, Doc? He, Two wrongs he, don't make a wrong. He lie. who has the most gold rules. Oh Lord, have mercy! Hurry this up. We gotta go okay, watch I'm gonna, Rio. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna watch Rio. I'm just gonna talk about some music, and then we're gonna wrap this up. Okay. Are we really going swimming? I'm gonna go swimming right after this. In the swimming pool. In the swimming pool. Okay, that's great news. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for coming by. There she goes, everybody. Jam, <laughs> jam attack. You look really pretty right now. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna give you kisses after this. <laughs> Kisses, baby. I'm gonna give Come you on, plenty Jamie. of kisses. You're safe. There she goes, everybody. Amber, Amber the Green Green. Um, so we're gonna talk about music now, and I still don't have a fancy music graphic, um, but it's cool. You know, uh, these things happen. Um, uh, someone named Nihilatsu, Nihilits, Nihilastu. Hatsu? I can't even pronounce this guy's name. I'm assuming it's his username. I don't know if that's his real name, and if it's his real name, then I apologize for butchering it. He sent me this band named Cog. Okay? The song is called No Other Way, and it's, uh, it's this. I mean, it is what it is. It's an Australian band. Cog.com.au I'll post a link in the description to this video, but... I was listening to this while I was answering emails one day, and I found it very, like, cool. Like, I've been into this weird shit lately, and it's been, uh... It's cool. Let's listen to it. <laughs> Gypsy attack while listening to COG. It's cool. I think it's cool. This is a, yeah. It's not metal. It's not like, uh, you know, it, his vocals kind of remind me, unfortunately, of Volbeat, which, uh, there's a term. Jam, you close the door? There's a, uh, there's a term that I've coined that I haven't coined that, uh, other people have coined. Um, my favorite podcast of all time, which is, uh, 500 by Midnight. Uh, Tim and Michelle, who I just love to death, uh, I would be starstruck if I met them. Five Hundred by Midnight. They they coined this term "pickle mouth," <laughs> where they basically use it to describe bands who sound like they're trying to sing with a pickle in their mouth. And I'm like, that's the most brilliant thing I've ever heard. So every like five finger death punch, uh, Nickelback is the biggest offender. I can't stand that band. Um, there's a lot of bands like Theory of a Dead Man, Three Days Grace. They all sing like they're trying to sing with a pickle jammed in their mouth. They're like, and uh, I kind of get that from Cog just a little bit. But overall, it's very kind of cool and ambient. And like I said, I was I was answering emails, listening to this band, and I found it very very cool. It was kind of relaxing me a little bit it's not metal and it's not heavy but it's still uh it's still really good so thank you uh thank you nihilatsu for sending me cog and i'll post a link in the description as well as add them right now to my playlist uh on my youtube channel i have a playlist called vlog music slash bands and now it's 24 artists long and it's all of the music that i featured in previous vlogs and uh it's pretty cool. In fact, I'm going to add this one as well. Add this. Ooh, sorry about the Facebook. Let me close Facebook because that's just going to keep happening. Um, next band I have to talk about is called Scale the Summit. Um, if you have been to a vape meet and you went to the Namber Juice table, then you may or may not have met Nikki. And she's uh, super cool. She helps us out every time. And we actually got a chance to talk at, the, at VaporCon. And she said, oh, have you ever heard scale the summit and i'm like no i've never heard scale the summit she's like well do you like pelican and i'm like yeah i, I love pelican so she recommended scale the summit which is way too loud and they are uh instrumental they're like this instrumental progressive metal band um i created a scale the summit um 
station on my Pandora, and it plays like the best shit ever. It plays Scale of the Summit, Angel Vivaldi, like even the Buckethead stuff is really good. But this band, Scale the Summit, I've, I've never heard of them before. She recommended them, and I'm like, this is brilliant. This is the best stuff I've ever heard. And it's all instrumental. There's no vocals or anything, and it's like really proggy. Like they went to music school to learn how to be like... Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. So there you go. That is uh, that is scale the summit. That comes from uh, from Nikki, who again, if you've been to the Amber Juice table at any vape meets, vape bash, or vaporcon, you may have met her. Um, if not, then you probably should meet her because she's wicked cool. Um, scale the summit. Thank you, Nikki, for sending that, for for suggesting that band to me. They're fantastic. Uh, I love them. And I've been listening to a lot of weird stuff like. Like that, like Angel Vivaldi, a ton of Catatonia, a ton of Devin Townsend. You know, and I go back and forth between like, I just listen to a bunch of like Stoner Doom stuff. And then I'm like, I just need to listen to nothing but black metal. So I'll just listen to nothing but black metal for like a month. <clears throat> Pardon me, burp life. And lately it's been stuff like this, stuff like Scale the Summit, like uh, Angel Vivaldi, like Buckethead, like... Catatonia. I don't know. I go, I'm all over the place. I'm truly all over the place. But I just added that to the music and vlog playlist and it will have a description. Uh, I'll, I'll have a link in the description to this video. Um, I don't believe that I have anything else to talk about. Again, check out Misha's pictures of VaporCon. I dressed up uh, as a classy Stormtrooper, which means uh, I had my Stormtrooper mask, my Stormtrooper helmet, and I had like a shirt and tie and suspenders and a blaster. And there's a great picture of uh, of me and Darth Vader kind of facing off. I guess I was uh, I did something wrong. And uh, my good buddy Flitz, Flitz on who was Slave Leia at VaporCon, and uh, I wanted to give the winner to Janae, Janae uh, Vape Girl. I just you know what? People hate on her so much, and it, it drives me up the wall because she's a wonderful person. If you have a chance to meet her, she's just a good person that I like to hang out with. Um, she didn't know there was a Star Wars costume contest, so she went upstairs into her room, and using items in her room, did sort of this reimagined Princess Leia. She had, like, buns and, like, a white dress, and she used her mod as, like, a gun. It was... Uh, it was great, um, and I think it's great. And there's a lot of pictures of her in addition to, for some reason, there was a Jack Sparrow walking around. Does anybody at VaporCon remember Captain Jack Sparrow walking around? Why was there a Captain Jack Sparrow walking around? It freaks me out. But anyway, um, this is where we end this vlog. Um, thank you so, so much for joining me. One more time in the vape lair. Um, any... Uh, any feedback, comments, or questions, you can always email me, nick at grimgreen.com. It's pretty rare that I get to check my Facebook messages as well as my YouTube messages. The absolute best, best, best way to get a hold of me is nick at grimgreen.com. That's just, it goes to my phone, um, and I'm able to, to interact a little bit better that way. Um, but that's what I got. Thank you so much for watching. Are we going to play the betting game? Which mod am I going to grab? Oh, crap. I have one update to do. Ooh, shh, shh, shh. One update. I'm sorry. Did anybody turn off the video? Is anybody still there? I think there's a couple people still there. I have one quick update to do on the Aspire Nautilus Mini. Um, people were wondering how long the coils last, if the flavor lasts. Let me tell you, I'm still on my first coil. I've been through at least 15 to 20 tanks of juice. I've, I've plowed through like 30 mils of juice um, on this little Aspire Nautilus Mini. Mini. It's rocking right now on my... Uh, H Cigar Canna, um, which I've actually, eh, I'm really neither here nor there. When I do my review, it's going to be very meh. It's going to be very like, eh, it's a Chinese DNA 30. I don't really know. It's a thing. Um, but yes, I've been rocking it on this. Currently set to 13 and a half watts. Hmm. 
The performance is still amazing. It still crackles like a Cardo tank. The flavor is still wonderful. And what I'm gonna do is one of these heads I'm going to completely dissect and see what it looks like on the inside. And the other head, I'm going to attempt to clean. Um, I got this product called Vapor Clean. And it looks like Windex. And uh, they sent me an MSDS sheet for it. It's all safe, FDA approved stuff. And you use it for cleaning your clearomizers out. Weird, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head. I'm going to rinse it out with some of this vapor clean. It actually says do not drink flammable on the side, which kind of freaks me out a little bit. But regardless, vapor clean. I'm going to be trying this on my Aspire Nautilus mini heads. This has been going now for three weeks and it is still producing great vapor, great flavor, great performance. I cannot recommend these enough, people. Just go buy one. Just buy one. What's the worst that can happen is you get another tank that you kind of don't like. Um, I think they're fantastic. I think everybody should buy one. Just as an update, they have been, uh, been top-notch. I actually got to talk to Matt a little bit about how much he likes the Aspire Nautilus Mini. I actually really, really love the Aspire Nautilus Mini, and uh, I think it's fantastic. So that's what I got. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, because this is my this is in my hand. This is what I'll be vaping. Pliny the Elder and uh, Caramelized Bananas. There you go. That's what I got. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and as always, let's keep on vaping. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to vape and drink at the same time. That would be ridiculous. So just as an afterthought, if, if anybody cares, there was one night at VaporCon that really kind of meant a lot to me. Um, we were up in my room, up in, up in Amber and I's room, and uh, I was there, the crew... The, 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 the the green crew was there. That's just what I mean, it's like. We're like the Avengers <laughs> vaping. I'm not going to say that. Um, but I was there. Matt and Vanessa were there. Ruby and Josh. Ruby was there. Josh wasn't there. And uh, um, Russ and Ashley from Vigilante were there. And they're just wonderful people. Um, and they have fantastic juices. And everybody was talking. And then over kind of by the bar area, me and Ruby and Matt were talking. And it was really cool to be able to kind of open up and talk to other YouTube vaping people, like just about boring like ins and outs of how we do our YouTubes, how we run them. You know, we're talking about things like, uh, you know, l looking at subscriber counts and what that means and how it affects your videos and viewer counts and how, what that means and how it affects your videos and the importance of you know staying humble and giving good information and, and not feeding trolls and it was just really good I don't get to talk to to other vaping YouTube people like that and it was just really good to kind of connect like that we had a very I don't know. To me, anyway, we had kind of a shared moment, and it was like we're we're kind of all on the same team. And I just, I just love those guys to death. Like Matt and Vanessa, Ruby and Josh, and and, and of course my good buddy Flitz. I just love these people, and it was really good to get to to talk to Ruby and Matt, kind of about about YouTube and about you know because this is a you know by all accounts and purposes we're kind of competitors, I guess. Like. If, if Matt does a video on the Aspire Nautilus and I do a, a video the same week on the Aspire Nautilus and his video gets this many views and my video gets this many views, then that's kind of like competition. But it's not, it's not like that at all. We're all just friends and we're all on the same team and we want to support each other. And I support them just to the end. I, I just love them and uh, it was a really cool kind of fun moment. And uh, maybe next year we'll get to hang out again. VaporCon West 2015. It's happening. You have a year to prepare your Star Wars costume contest. I'm not even joking. I want 100 Slave Leias. I want 
50 stormtroopers and we're all going to walk around and just shoot everybody and miss. Um, that's what I got. Thank you, everybody, again.